you have a website built in Django for backend and Next.js for the front end. While dealing with large data sets, you should consider server side pagination. What's up, ACOs? This is Spider ACO from rockacos.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how did I implement server side pagination to avoid crashing your Django and Next.js application. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can implement server side pagination between Next.js for the front end and Django for the back end. So you can achieve this specific goal by only serving a maximum amount of 10 records per pagination. So you can avoid crashing your Next.js app in the front end. So to leverage this, I decided to implement a component, a custom component for the React data table component. You can see this is my custom component and I pass immediately a page props. So I can pass also the page pagination num the page pagination number, I mean, so I can force what's the current page every time this handle pagination function is triggered for every time that you click on here. Okay? Every time you click on here, immediately it will trigger this function and by triggering the fetch crawl data, you will make the request to the backend by passing the number that you requested minus one because I need to pass specifically the exact index that I need to start with and to end with when it comes to getting the data from the data frame on pandas. So I am using Python for the backend and you can see here that every time I get the pagination request immediately I multiply this by 10 and I immediately assign the end index so I can filter specifically the data or the next 10 records I mean from the data frame. So just a recap, you implement a custom pagination component, okay? You pass the page props for the specific pagination component and you pass the page number that you can control from here. Every time that you trigger this handle pagination, which will be triggered by every time that you click on the specific pagination component, or I mean the next button when it comes to the pagination in your data table. So for the data table component, what I mean the React data table component, you can pass a custom pagination component, which is which is you can see this box here. Pagination component and you can see that I pass my pagination component, my custom pagination component here. And I pass also the total pages, which is the result from by dividing the total amount of records by the total amount of page or records I want to show for every single page in the table. And on page change, this is a props that I pass here, the handle pagination function to this pagination component. That's it guys. You can implement this functionality and you will be avoiding overloading the backend and the front end because I don't want to overload my Django backend by saving a ton of JSON data. So what did I do? To achieve a faster response, I decided to implement Parquet because it's faster when it comes to response. You can even filter when it comes to reading the file with the data as you will do with a SQL query. But instead, you can do a filter by using the same Python syntax. I will have to implement this also to provide a better performance also. I would like to let you know that you can use Parquet instead of SQL or instead of JSON lines because you can transform your data frame into a parquet file JSON lines which could be 3 gigabytes on size the parquet file can be only 106 megabytes only 106 megabytes so you can save ton of space on your local disk in addition to achieving a faster response let me know in the comments below if you have any question or send a message on my whatsapp community and if you enjoyed this video make sure to rock the like share and subscribe to the channel